Matthew 12 opens with the story of Jesus walking through some grain fields on the Sabbath. Now, the Sabbath was, you know, that day of the week that they were supposed to not do any work on. And it says that his disciples were hungry, so they started breaking off some heads of grain and eating them. But some of the Pharisees, remember these are the religious elite, they saw the disciples do it and they protested. They said, look, your disciples are breaking the law by harvesting grain on the Sabbath. And this is going to frame sort of the whole chapter because it's really all about answering the question, who is Jesus anyway? Who is this guy? And it's wrestling with whether certain people really believe that Jesus is who he said he was. Because it turns out Jesus is God. He's not just some carpenter's son. He's not just some leader of fishermen. He is God himself, but he understands the heart of God better than they do. Even though they're students of the law, he really understands what the law is all about. As you read this for yourself, you'll see that as he teaches them, he says, you guys are missing the whole point of the law. And then in verse 9, the next story reveals it again. Jesus went over to the synagogue and he noticed a man with a deformed hand. And the Pharisees said to Jesus, hey, does the law permit a a person to work by healing on the Sabbath? Once again, they were trying to trap him so that they could bring charges against him. And he said, listen, if you had a sheep that fell into a well on the Sabbath, wouldn't you work to pull it out? Of course you would. And how much more valuable is a person than a sheep? Yes, the law permits a person to do good on the Sabbath. So as you read this, you'll notice that he's fighting against these Pharisees and their religious way of looking at the rules. Jesus is is basically saying, You don't understand the rules. You're only concerned about the letter of the law, but there's something deeper. The spirit of the law is more important, and Jesus is calling them to the spirit of the law. As we scroll down here again in verse 22, it says, Then a demon-possessed man who was blind and couldn't speak was brought to Jesus, and he healed the man so that he could both speak and see. And the crowd was amazed and they said, could it be that Jesus is the son of David, the Messiah? So once again, they're everyone from different perspectives, Pharisees, regular people, the disciples themselves, they're all wrestling with who is this guy? His teachings, his miracles, clearly he has a different kind of authority than what they were used to. The the authority of the Pharisees, the institutional authority of the Pharisees, right? And Jesus says here in verse 30, anyone who isn't with me opposes me, and anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. Once again, he's sort of calling out the religious elite, the spiritual leaders. He says in verse 35, a good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart, and an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. So once again, he's going deeper than the law, and he's trying to help people understand that it's all really a heart issue. Verse 38, one day some teachers of the religious law and the Pharisees came to Jesus, and they said, Teacher, we want you to show us a miraculous sign to prove your authority. And so Jesus said, only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I will give them is the sign of the prophet Jonah. Now, what he's referring to here is the story of Jonah, who was in the belly of the whale in the Old Testament for three days. And he's using that as uh, sort of a type or a almost like a metaphor of what he was going to do when he went into the earth, when he died and then rose again. That's what he's talking about there in that passage. They didn't understand that, but that's what he's talking about there. And let's just finish here, verse 50, the last verse in this chapter. Jesus said this, Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. And so he's sort of drawing the line in the sand, Jesus is. And remember, he is being followed by fishermen. The Pharisees are kind of the bad guy in in the story. And Jesus is calling anyone, anyone who would just humbly repent and turn to God and understand God and see God and his rules and his way, the way it was intended from the beginning, which is such a a free way of looking at religion, right? It's all about freedom, having freedom to follow God from the heart, not from the letter of the law. Those people who choose to see it that way are going to be his brother and sister and mother. So you're ready to read Matthew 12, and we'll see you tomorrow for chapter 13.